afternoon and good evening for our online participants. Uh, we will have the last short, last but not least lecture uh, by Vladimir. I will, I will, I will complete my yesterday's le lecture. I will finish and uh, will say some words about uh, legal and institutional aspects of uh, uh, innovative technology implementation and so on. So today I will speak less about technic, uh, more about politic, uh, uh, legal aspects and so other. But firstly, I would like to reply for one of yesterday's question regarding uh, what uh, technology, uh, what technology for uh, uranium mining is uh, uh, more attractive from uh, point of view. Of, and safe from point of view of radiation protection. Of course, uh, uh, in situ, in city leaching, it's uh, from point of view of um, uh, well, first of all, no any uh, uh, direct contact of uh, miners with uh, ore, no dust, and no uh, uh, some tails uh, on surface of. Uh, 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 on surface, but but uh, as usual, this technology uh, uh, based on using of uh, uh, some very aggressive and very uh, poisoned um, uh, chemical compounds, and uh, from point of view of chemical safety, here is uh, some different thing. But uh, from point of view of uh, 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 Efficiency, of course, this technology is uh, more attractive. And for example, some countries used this technology not only for recovering of uh, uranium, uh, but uh, Uzbekistan uh, used this technology for uh, parallel production of gold. It's also uh, very interesting uh, uh, coexistence. So yesterday I stopped uh, uh, on the last slide related Recycling and uh, uh, circulation. Excuse, excuse me, Alexander. I feel like some sound extra. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I will. I will stay mainly uh, no. uh, near this. No. I think we could. Could we fix this? We, we have an issue with sound here, which is like mm -hmm. echo. Okay. Okay, so, oh, what? Uh -huh. okay. okay, so, uh, yesterday I stopped on uh, um, recycling technology and uh, now I continue my presentation uh, with a brief explanation what national policies uh, uh, applied in different countries uh, regarding uh, nuclear fuel cycles, spent fuel management. First of all, U.S. is a key uh, owner of the uh, biggest uh, nuclear power reactor fleet. Uh, well, truly speaking, uh, U.S. Uh, gives us not very good example. <laughs> they have no final decision. Uh, of course, uh, the technology of long-term storage, uh, dry long-term storage now approved, but take into account that uh, fuel uh, reprocessing or uh, uh, disposal postponed for many, many decades, um, take into account growth of burn-up, um, uh, quality of uh, zirconium after radiation. Uh, uh, we um, could meet some problem after very long uh, interim storage of uh, this fuel. But uh, uh, I hope that uh, political discussion around uh, uh, some uh, uh, systems uh, will finish and uh, uh, U.S. Uh, will find some uh, uh, decision. I would like to underline that uh, in 1977, after some special uh, decree of uh, President Carter, uh, U.S. stopped any activity in reprocessing and uh, stopped reprocessing. Now they also only accumulated fuel. Uh, some examples from other countries. Finland, uh, partly before uh, sen uh, sent the um, uh, for 40 fuel for reprocessing, but during the last uh, 30 years, they uh, kept fuel for uh, in wet storage uh, and at reactors, and 
I will dispose it. Canada, for conduits, is now it's more acceptable way. It's really um, uh, disposable. Sweden also uh, open uh, fuel cycle, and they are going to put an, an saturation some specific repository. Germany, with their very specific uh, policy, uh, they stop uh, uh, sending off, they uh, spend fuel to France uh, from 2005, and now all uh, fuel should be prepared for um, uh, disposal, but they did not yet uh, select place for disposal of fuel, and so on, so on. Uh, 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 Switzerland uh, also have uh, the same strategy. Now they have uh, uh, away far from reactor uh, dry storage and uh, continue uh, considerate uh, some uh, uh, places for uh, repository. Another group of countries with close fuel cycle, France, leader, uh, leading country in the area of uh, uh, recycling. Uh, and uh, additional to storage and reprocessing, they have a very advanced uh, uh, project uh, for repository of uh, high-level waste um, in uh, Bure uh, place. Uh, uh, but the, uh, in this place, not for spent fuel, place for high-level waste uh, after reprocessing. Japan, uh, in spite of uh, uh, different uh, political uh, uh, problems, they kept uh, uh, key uh, close fuel cycle as key line for future. Unfortunately, we have uh, uh, not very good example here at, uh, f from point of view of uh, um, uh, commissioning of uh, Rakash Mura plant. Um, uh, here, uh, it's very long project. I remember some articles about uh, its uh, opening in the beginning of <laughs> 2001, 2010, but now, uh, of course, um, uh, but this um, facility is interesting, it's more advanced in comparison of Mayako, uh, Laak plant, Russian and friends. Uh, a Japanese colleague uh, will uh, receive uh, directly mix of uranium and plutonium. So from point of view of uh, safeguardability is one of uh, key in interesting decision. China has a program um, for construction of uh, uh, new reprocessing plant. Uh, they had uh, old military plant in Lanzhou region, Lanzhou region, but uh, now uh, uh, first pilot reprocessing plant under operation. It's also pure X process, modified pure X process, and uh, second uh, reprocessing plant, and the plant and is under construction from last year. Russia has uh, Mayak plant. Uh, um, this is one of uh, very flexible uh, reprocessing plant in the world, uh, and uh, I work with uh, them many, many years, and they can now uh, reprocess <laughs> A uh, big variety of uh, fuel from research reactors, uh, um, uh, from some uh, submarine icebreakers, uh, and uh, uh, the uh, cycle of uh, this technology taken into account uh, relatively high enriched fuel from research reactors uh, can produce um, uh, the fuel close to uh, 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 relatively, with relatively high uh, enrichment uh, that can be used directly in RBMK or some other Russian reactors. Uh, Russia has uh, uh, another place for uh, wet storage of uh, and dry storage of uh, spent fuel of air, not only from Russia and from some other countries. UK had uh, um, very interesting from historical point of view. Uh, program uh, for reprocessing of fuel. First of all, they complete reprocessing of Magnox fuel. They had the best in the world from te technological point of view, um, uh, reprocessing plant, Thorpe. But unfortunately, political and other reasons and some problems uh, in the past regarding Mox fuel production. Finally, they decided to stop this reprocessing and uh, Yes. Uh, and uh, India now has a group of uh, small reprocessing facility, uh, truly speaking, uh, part of the M uh, were constructed uh, in parallel for, for military goals. <laughs> but um, uh, India uh, uh, has also a strong uh, direction to uh, close fuel cycle. Uh, 
um, uh, in future, and uh, they ha uh, uh, India has a uh, program uh, for fast reactor construction. So we can, you can see the world uh, is different. Some countries uh, has uh, different approaches, and um, uh, we can say that we have now new or maybe renew approaches. Uh, no, first of all, uh, a key tendency, as I yesterday mentioned, uh, more than 70%, uh, uh, 75% of fuel, it's storage. Uh, uh, or now one of uh, renewed idea uh, under discussion with some countries, it's sent back, sent back to manufacturer for reprocessing. Now this option fixed on the paper only only uh, in uh, relation between uh, Russia and Iran. Uh, I know that Bangladesh, uh, Belarus, uh, uh, Turkey, uh, uh, now new pronunciation, Tur Turkey, <laughs> uh, uh, also considered uh, uh, this uh, system, but uh, we will see in future. From other hand, uh, France uh, and Russia had uh, very long, uh, uh, long term experience for reprocessing, taking, and managing of uh, uh, products. France, as usual, sent back uh, uh, materials after reprocessing, but uh, Soviet Union and Russia has uh, interesting uh, conception, historically. Uh, the plutonium kept in uh, Russian Federation after reprocessing and can belong to Russian Federation for other uh, recycling. Another line of uh, current uh, approaches, it's a discussion about international repository, uh, uh, but uh, this uh, discussion start and close, start and close during the last 40 years. And a uh, number of states express interest through international uh, spent nuclear fuel story. So, from other hand, agency, uh, uh, energy agency is one of platform for discussion about future uh, fuel cycle, and uh, uh, the idea uh, about internationalization of fuel cycle can be split on two lines. Uh, uh, assurance of supply of uh, low-enrich uranium for current fleet of nuclear power plants, the front end, and uh, also some attempt to do two uh, establish some multilateral approach uh, regarding uh, spent fuel. Uh, currently, we can say that uh, first point now decided in inter 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 international level. Uh, some uh, countries uh, which have uh, in in enrichment capacity, type of UK, Germany, has the initiative for preparation of long-term contract uh, without any political uh, uh, obligations. Russia prepared uh, some special reserve in Angarsk, plus also some um, uh, initiative. U.S. also uh, has initiative. And uh, plus final last point, uh, it's uh, special low, uh, low enriched uranium bank of IAEA in Kazakhstan, 100, uh, 160 tons of uh, enriched uranium for well, if if some country, some state uh, will have uh, uh, some specific uh, situation, then from political reason, other, other states will stop uh, delivery of uh, uranium uh, uh, agency should help. Next part is under discussion now. And uh, a very simple uh, a picture prepared uh, maybe ten, 10 years ago, maybe more, one of my friends, um, uh, uh, why uh, the country have uh, no, discussed about uh, uh, international repository. No, for example, U.S., big territory, they have and will have, as expected, two places for repository, Yucca Mountain and uh, uh, WIP, uh, 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 Waste uh, in, in, I forgot, uh, so the, in uh, Los Alamos also facility for uh, disposal of uh, radioactive waste contained uh, that contained uh, an, uh, actinides. If we compare with Europe, Europe has a lot of states. Yes, and if every state uh, will construct national repository, <laughs> we will have. <laughs> 
a lot of repository in different places. Uh, and it is. Yes, yes, yes. So it is one of uh, simple uh, explanation why the discussion about uh, multinational approach for back end of fuel cycle continues. And uh, I remind uh, especially one of picture from a previous uh, lecture about MPRO, uh, the one of the uh, uh, way it's uh, establishing of some international cooperation, uh, separation of uh, responsibility between different countries, and uh, uh, it is one of uh, expected tendency to establishing of international regime uh, for control and managing with uh, spent nuclear fuel. So some countries have only nuclear reactors, some countries have uh, additional uh, uh, fuel service in back end or long term storage, and uh, some countries can uh, um, burn plutonium and can uh, uh, reduce uh, radiotoxicity of uh, 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 radiotoxicity effect of nuclear power on uh, environment. So, and uh, agency prepared, uh, it's, it's only uh, last 20 years, uh, 25 years, uh, a lot of uh, papers uh, related multilateral issues, uh, but uh, till now, uh, we have no uh, strong decisions. We have only some uh, proposals, suggestions, and limited, uh, limited uh, uh, contracts uh, due to uh, specific of uh, national and legal uh, uh, aspects. Uh, and I will uh, explain these aspects a little bit later. Some remarks about uh, spent nuclear uh, uh, fuel uh, strategy. First of all, back end is one of key problems in nuclear power as a whole, and uh, from many points of view, most nuclear countries do not have final strategy uh, for back end of fuel cycle. Long term storage is an intermediate decision, it's not uh, yet final decision. Final disposal keeps long term dangerous related uh, actinides and long uh, lead fission product, but reprocessing options is sensitive from non proliferation point of view. A second uh, important point absence of standard and easy approaches to uh, back end uh, also give uh, some strong effect to decision makers in uh, countries uh, and uh, also uh, additional maybe negative uh, uh, point uh, for decision makers for new countries. Uh, it's necessary or not necessary start construction of nuclear power plants. Uh, no, it's uh, about necess necessity of control, but it's very specific current legal situation. Joint convention uh, on the safety of radioactive waste and uh, sp spent nuclear fuel management and radioactive waste safety fundamentals IA safety standards, uh, uh, European uh, Union Waste Management Directive 90, all emphasize that uh, ultimate responsibility for ensuring the safety of spent fuel and radioactive waste management rests with the state. In that case, sometimes not very easy to uh, transform responsibility from one country to another. Uh, maybe it's necessary to update uh, some uh, legal documents and so on, so on, so on. And, uh, but in any case, uh, we have a relatively bright future. Currently, if consider all market of fuel, we work in area of uh, uranium-235 um, uh, fuel cycle. We have uh, good experience and uh, good understanding of uh, next advanced options, uh, uranium-plutonium fuel cycle. And uh, 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 a lot of uh, research and development and uh, some uh, pilot uh, studies related innovative um, uh, fuel cycle based on uranium plutonium minor actinides and uh, uh, thorium uh, uranium system too. Take into account reactor system, accelerated driving uh, system, maybe in the future systems uh, with uh, fusion fission uh, and uh, so on. So it's uh, last slide of my yesterday. Uh, presentation, uh, Vladimir, what uh, idea? Now questions about uh, fuel cycle or after second lecture, small. Oh, maybe you have 
Uh, some questions yeah, related some quick, fuel cycle. Quick questions on nuclear fuel cycle, or we can let me check the our okay. audience here. Okay, I, 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 they will have time. I will continue. So, but I need to change my presentation. Okay, now we have a finally yes, short, short uh, presentation on legal and institutional aspects of new nuclear technology development. Yes, again by Alexander uh, Bochkov. Truly speaking, uh, this lecture is uh, relatively fresh. Uh, I had idea to prepare some type materials uh, last uh, year, but. Uh, and partly it was demonstrated during some uh, meetings uh, on uh, INPRA, but uh, mm, I think your, your auditorium uh, is, uh, uh, also should uh, receive these uh, doubts or uh, ideas related uh, legal and, and institutional aspects in new nuclear technology. Like technology. 15 minutes or more? No, 20. 20, okay. So, first of all, uh, why legal aspects are important for nuclear power and fuel cycle? Well, first of all, uh, we consider the world safety from national and international level, nuclear security from international and national level, and uh, non-proliferation on international level mainly. These aspects are covered in complex of international treaty and uh, conventions. Well, for example, in a legal framework on nuclear security, we have Convention on Nuclear Safety, oh, no, Nuclear Safety, sorry, a Nuclear Safety a Convention on um, Early uh, Notification of uh, uh, Accident, and a Joint Convention on, um, uh, saf uh, uh, on Safety of Spent uh, Fuel Management and uh, uh, the, uh, Safety of uh, Radioactive Waste Management. So they established uh, some system that includes uh, uh, <coughs> other documents uh, plus agency provide uh, some system for review of uh, uh, participants of all conventions and of course uh, uh, their all hierarchy of safety standards also based on uh, these uh, conventions and they cover uh, uh, a number of areas related safety nuclear installation waste transport radiation protection emergency preparedness and uh, truly speaking now we have a lot of uh, guidance guidance uh, number of requir requirement and of course one um, uh, fundamental basis uh, for uh, this uh, uh, system uh, security uh, uh, convention on physical uh, protection of nuclear material based uh, document and it was uh, uh, amendment uh, has amendment after uh, uh, 2001, and uh, now uh, uh, this uh, convention and follow document uh, on nuclear security also cover all relation um, uh, between states regarding transportation, uh, protection of uh, nuclear materials, uh, it's more anti-terroristic -ter system, and uh, of course uh, uh, third line, maybe not visible from point of view of research and development uh, and uh, international legal framework for uh, civil liability. It is one of uh, conclusion from previous uh, uh, systems. Uh, uh, if some state uh, will have some accident uh, and this accident will affect on uh, neighbor countries, uh, uh, some block of uh, conventions covered this situation and exp uh, 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 explain what type of uh, uh, compensation should be paid and other, other, other steps. Uh, and uh, uh, of course, key uh, uh, one of key political documents is Treaty on Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapon. Uh, it's also covered to some uh, special system. Uh, uh, organized by the agency, uh, uh, every country, each country has uh, safeguards agreement with the state, and uh, of course, safeguard system works. Uh, um, they have a lot of instruments taken into account 
sampling, analysis, uh, control, plus uh, uh, um, not investigation, it's searching of uh, open sources and some other other other, other systems. And uh, so we have um, relatively strong uh, platform, but what uh, where gaps uh, can be uh, no, where uh, where gaps can be really impediments uh, for innovations for in nuclear security first of all technology or facilities facility design uh, could not meet standards uh, current standards requirements the current standards requirements were developed on the basis of current practice a uh, little bit later i will uh, say about some example and so some uh, advanced uh, technology could could be located in some type of gaps the similar si <coughs> situation in nuclear security facility design also uh, for example is not meet security uh, current security and safeguards requirement yes uh, no, uh, in safeguards some facility request uh, using of uh, relatively sensitive materials, high enriched uranium, or maybe relatively pure plutonium, or um, uranium-233. So, and uh, another point, uh, very difficult point, uh, oh, sorry, it's contradiction, contradiction, I'm sorry, it's contradictions between different areas of safety. We have fire safety, we have uh, another uh, system of the safety. In my practice, uh, once we met, uh, I participate in project uh, of a high temperature reactor for disposition of plutonium, GTMGR, organized by AKBM. And of course, uh, one of the idea was uh, to use uh, a pilot facility, if it was constructed, for production of hydrogen. But we found that in Russia, uh, the uh, facility for production of hydrogen should be located on three or five kilometers far from reactor. The transportation of high, high potential heat for three kilometers is very expensive. Uh, it's, uh, in that case, electrolysis is much better. But if facility can locate near, of course, uh, we can use uh, effectively um, uh, uh, sulfide iodine cycle for production of uh, hydrogen. But not it's maybe who works in some facilities. It is we have uh, in a, sometimes. Uh, competition between fire safety and uh, uh, sec uh, nuclear security. First uh, 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 floor, uh, windows should be blocked by <laughs> some special <laughs> uh, uh, grid. Uh, but uh, from fire point of view, uh, <laughs> the uh, first floor of the window should be easily open <laughs> for evacuation. Well, it's, it's a simple example. So uh, if consider current request for our infrastructure for new nuclear power programs. Of course, uh, if uh, uh, one of uh, newcomer member states would like to uh, construct a relatively innovative facility, they will have not headache, but uh, a number of uh, difficulties, scenario of nuclear safety, legal part. It is not technical, legal part. Uh, legal framework, take into account that uh, some type of Technology cannot be covered uh, current uh, documents. Safeguards, uh, uh, human resource development due to uh, you need system for education and preparation, uh, training of personnel, especially for innovative uh, 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 reactor or facility. And uh, site and supporting facility, oh, mainly siting also uh, will meet, uh, could meet uh, some uh, specific problem. No, of course, nuclear security and uh, problem related nuclear fuel cycle. In the INPRO, we have uh, a number of study related uh, legal and institutional aspect of innovation. I mentioned before that INPRO is a good hierarchical system where it's easy to find some gaps, not only technical and legal too. And um, uh, here's example, first study was dedicated to uh, transportable nuclear power plants. Now uh, we are uh, close to publishing uh, second part of this study, especially for deployment of factory fueled uh, uh, transportable nuclear models. Uh, cooperative approach to back uh, approaches to the back end of nuclear fuel cycle, also consideration of drivers and um, uh, uh, impediments, uh, institutional, economic, and legal. And uh, just this year we start a uh, similar study from uh, uh, 
the consideration of uh, similar st um, uh, aspects for prospective deployment of uh, fusion facility. Uh, some words about uh, floating. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, a key point, uh, the floating nuclear power plant. Uh, uh, plants uh, uh, do not cover by uh, nuclear safety convention. Nuclear safety convention fix and describe only land-based nuclear power plant. Transportable underwater, uh, transportable uh, uh, for um, uh, maritime or lake location outside of this convention. And of course, all hierarchy of uh, documents has a big gap uh, for this system. A next study, we uh, considered uh, uh, a lot of other uh, aspects for namely for this nuclear battery. If uh, when supplier uh, fueled uh, facility to make uh, some operation uh, for sealing of uh, reactor and send to uh, host state uh, for production of energy, electricity, heat, uh, desalinated water. It's, uh, but in that case, uh, as minimum two new uh, participants of the uh, uh, operation if you, if some countries uh, support and um, sell construction of a nuclear power plant in the land of in, in your country, finally, operator and uh, host country uh, has full responsibility for operation and some other things. But here, it's two states and maybe some third states. Also, it's some problematic uh, point, especially for floating. For example, you can, uh, you will prepare here. Uh, uh, sent it uh, by sea to another country and operating site will locate here. So now we have a number of design of uh, similar facilities uh, and it's not the same as academic Lomonosov, it's a little bit advanced uh, uh, system. So and uh, life cycle also specific. If uh, we compare with traditional nuclear power plant, design, construction, operation, decommissioning. But here another system, you, you can construct uh, design and construct, uh, complete design and construction before decision making, can, uh, making in host state. And so here you will have uh, some repeated uh, transportation. So this system is not described fully by uh, current uh, uh, safety, uh, security uh, documents. We found that safeguards from point of view of documents is, is enough, but in any case it's necessary to establish new system for control. But for uh, other uh, line and maritime law, also very specific. 40 years ago when um, uh, uh, experts in the world uh, established um, uh, safety, uh, maritime safety for uh, nuclear power reactors on the sea, they considered only uh, uh, a reactor for propulsion, but not transportation of a system for fuel. Of course, maybe it's easy to consider as transportation of uh, radioactive materials. We have SSR-6 uh, that cover transportation of radioactive materials, and it's, it's a good established system. No. A reactor with loaded fuel cannot be tested as a container for uh, fuel. And uh, so it's also some big gap uh, from one hand. It is it's very interesting market decision from point of view of safeguards, from point of view of uh, keeping responsibility in, in, uh, in, in the supplier state uh, that uh, have a good experience in all areas and uh, providing well, maybe more uh, expensive uh, electricity, but without, without head, headache to establish full-scale uh, legal infrastructure in new states. But unfortunately, it is not easy. We consider it, as usual, on a legislation uh, subject, uh, safety, security, safeguards, the process of licensing take into account not only nuclear aspects. Uh, licensing sometimes uh, includes uh, some other points. And uh, for similar system, we especially considered uh, staffing and training. It's also interesting. And uh, we suggested to some splitting of uh, responsibility for these states. So now we uh, start uh, a similar discussion about uh, fusion facility. 
due to, from technical point of view, from point of view of conception, we have a lot of conceptions. But nobody who works in ITER, nobody who works in uh, national laboratories cannot consider this system as a um, uh, system in the frame of current uh, legal and legal international and uh, national system. So also a lot of uh, problems due to uh, expected if in, uh, during deployment period we will, uh, we, will we should to make uh, uh, some decision. For example, after our uh, studies related transportable nuclear power plant, uh, safety department uh, start reconsideration of uh, uh, some safety rules uh, regarding uh, uh, adopting them to transportable nuclear power plant. And for example, why I join only on Wednesday, I participate on Monday and on Wednesday uh, virtually to another consultancy meeting <laughs> dedicated to this problem. So, if uh, you, uh, uh, okay, okay, I will, I will stop here. So. Uh, uh, so, brief, simple conclusion. Uh, uh, nuclear world is very complicated. It is not only technical. Uh, no, uh, you need uh, um, you need consider a lot of uh, additional points. Uh, uh, it's uh, connected not only uh, with uh, social acceptance. Uh, sometimes it's connected with uh, strong uh, legal work uh, and uh, strong. Uh, uh, understanding of uh, international nuclear safety, nuclear security, and uh, uh, the role of non-proliferation non treaty. Well, unfortunately, maybe fortunately, <laughs> uh, the all new technologies should be uh, considered from point of view of uh, this uh, system. And in <laughs> we in, in Pro Project <laughs> try to support the member states uh, to consider uh, to consider. Uh, uh, so complicated uh, questions uh, in not technical but institutional area. Thank you very much. So. Thank you very much, Alexander. So questions to, Prof to Dr. Bichkov? Please take the microphone. Uh, so there's like a various convention for a nuclear safety comes to join assistance and then early notification and yeah, early. So the Convention on Nuclear Safety, the, the 1994 one, that's not legally binding. Everyone uh, among them, convention are legally binding, but Convention on Nuclear Safety, 1994, that's not legally binding. Why is it? Oh, it's uh, this, uh, not uh, the question not for me. <laughs> I'm not expert. <laughs> I'm not lawyer. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, uh, some, some, I, I know that uh, some nuances uh, exist um, uh, and uh, the um, uh, experts who developed this uh, um, uh, convention fixed uh, this nuance. I don't know. Unfortunately, I cannot reply to this uh, legal nuance. I'm not expert in okay. uh, uh, legal, full legal aspects. I cannot interpret in the, make the interpretation of uh, conventions. Oh, it's uh, close to joint conventions. It, it, it was part yeah, of even Vienna experience. Convention is legally binding. Uh, it's ah Vienna Conventions. You may ah you mentioned um, uh, liability. Uh, no. Yes, uh, yes. Six uh, other yes, yes. convention. Uh, early notification, then mm. assistance in case of nuclear accident. Vienna Convention. Mm. Amendment to Vienna Convention, IMO, mm. Maritime Convention, everything else is legally binding. Yes, yes. I, I know that uh, uh, some some conventions. No, first of all, for liability, we have uh, two conventions: Paris Vienna Convention and Paris and Vienna. One, yes. Yeah. And uh, um, from point of view of practical reason, it's possible to adopt if one state and another state has uh, different. Uh, uh, members of different conventions, uh, it's possible to uh, uh, organize uh, uh, the communication in some other cases. Um, but uh, I, I'm not expert in the inter interpretation of uh, uh, conventions. Okay, we, as you. usual, invited uh, experts in this area for our study from member states and from the agency for um, detailed uh, consideration of application of some conventions for uh, specific cases. Okay. 
And another question is, like uh, the countries who uh, has like the nuclear who will supply it from the manufacturers, you said that you will see in the future about the back end of that waste. And now I'm a little worried about because in Bangladesh, we also have like turnkey projects, so we are getting fuel directly from suppliers. So what will happen when we go to decommissioning or our spent fuel? Well, uh, here I cannot also um, make complete uh, re uh, reply due to here we should consider additionally national uh, legal Policy. system. For example, uh, in uh, Rosatom, uh, a lot of experts uh, take into account uh, technological cycle, uh, uh, discuss and prepare uh, the procedure of take back of fuel from our partners. It's Bangladesh, Turkey, Egypt, Be Belarus, yeah. maybe in future Uzbekistan. Uh, we have technolo technologic, te from technological point of view, it's uh, understandable and uh, we have capacity. But uh, first of all, um, uh, Russia had uh, national um, uh, law uh, on uh, nuclear energy, uh, using of nuclear energy, that uh, had uh, also some limitation regarding uh, radioactive wastes. Now it's a little bit modified, but in any case, uh, here we uh, uh, should walk in uh, some uh, parallel uh, lines, and um, uh, we uh, completed uh, a new study where we fix uh, uh, these gaps and uh, areas uh, which are necessary for uh, adaptation, uh, for realization of similar system. Uh, or um, for reprocessing, catharsis reprocessing, without uh, uh, send back of uranium, plutonium, or maybe only ready fuel, uh, or uh, and uh, uh, cesium, strontium concentrate only, uh, or uh, uh, disposal in uh, some oh, in international disposal system. For example, in frame of IFNEC, uh, it's not a Russian site, it's uh, IFNEC, um, the group uh, worked uh, in area of consideration of uh, unique uh, case in neighbor country. Slovenia and Croatia has uh, one nuclear power plant that um, uh, under operation by both states, 60-40%. And uh, they uh, prepared uh, some model for, for our discussion to establishing one uh, repository for spent fuel why for one nuclear power plant is necessary to, to have two repositories. But uh, of course it is a long way uh, for future and uh, uh, no uh, full reply for your uh, uh, answers <laughs> in the world. Thank Only you. tendency. Thank you, Dr. Bichkov. Um, we, as scientists and engineers, we we saw the lectures about the technical aspects of making this uh, innovative nuclear energy systems viable. But can you say, if in the legal aspect, there is equivalent efforts and advancements to to make these systems viable? And I don't know. No, it's uh, no lawyers, yeah. no, my opinion, of course, uh, experts in the uh, legal uh, line uh, should work, well, maybe, uh, in, in cooperation with uh, uh, scientists and uh, managers who, uh, who, truly speaking, uh, have activity in nuclear power. Uh, sometimes it is no necessary to, ha to have uh, deep knowledge, but uh, expectation that you can meet uh, some not technical problem on the your way uh, should be. Oh, uh, in, in, in my uh, career I met regularly uh, some new uh, steps when I uh, should uh, uh, avoid or adopt uh, current situation. For example, our facility was uh, first facility for uh, uh, separated uh, plutonium light water reactor for production of most of the fast reactors. And we need 
and main, uh, main is to prepare some special system for security of similar facility. It was a big volume of new knowledge. Later, when we adopt uh, expert control system in, in uh, Russia to uh, other all approaches, but it was processed in many countries in the 90s. I also received a lot of new information related to uh, political and other aspects. And, uh, and step by step, and when I worked in the agency, I understood that I have a lot of uh, gaps in my knowledge, mainly in the legal and uh, so. But on, on some stages, maybe it is not necessary. But you should uh, have idea that uh, sometimes uh, the no. Please mute your microphones. If you want to ask a question, please raise the hand. Thank you. So sorry, it's a long explanation. <laughs> I reply. I replied on your question. Yeah, it's, it's more in the sense that um, is the agency uh, putting as much effort as in the legal aspect as in the technical aspect? Yes. Yeah. For making this viable. Yes, I understand that. Maybe we have to wait the technology to develop to. 50% of the agency activity is safeguard activity. <laughs> and uh, it's political activity, truly speaking. Technica, technica implemented in, uh, into some politic. Yes, in diplomacy too. It's the United Nations system. Okay, I saw we have a question somewhere. Okay, please. Uh, it's the last one. Yeah? Okay. Uh, good morning. I would like to ask you about, could you explain about the interface of nuclear security and nuclear safety in nuclear infrastructure development? And the last question is about uh, limitation area uh, of uh, nuclear safeguard and nuclear safety because uh, in my office that uh, nuclear safeguard handle the new mech nu nuclear material accounting control and nuclear security handle it too. How to uh, about the limitation area of nuclear safeguard and nuclear security? Thank you. It's, uh, it's necessary to prepare <laughs> one special lecture. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, the, tru truly speaking, uh, the agency now uh, really have uh, some instruments and recommendation to uh, mm, uh, for harmonization of approach to uh, safety and security, take into account safeguards. But in security, you know, we have uh, two line, two approaches. One, uh, mem some group of member states consider nuclear security. Uh, activity as um, uh, classified activity. You too, if you will have open communication, of course you will have uh, a lot of information for terroristic and some other <laughs> specific diseases. But from other hand, for simpli simplification of uh, um, efforts of uh, new member states, of course on first stage uh, it's much uh, better to um, have a uh, unified approach uh, to establishing of national systems. But it's system and uh, rules, it's one point, but real technical uh, instruments uh, for security is another point. So we, in any case, we will have no full uh, scale interface here. Interface, it's mainly uh, documents, and, uh, and uh, as I know, in some countries, uh, Nuclear safety, it's, uh, it's a special regulatory office and the government, but nuclear security or it's uh, some special service organization or um, uh, Ministry of uh, Defense. It's, uh, but safeguards, uh, safeguards here, it's, uh, it's my opinion. I um, suggest to consider it a separate line due to its routine uh, work of uh, a group of uh, inspectors who has some specific instruments, and uh, if state <laughs> really have no any uh, secret program <laughs> related <laughs> nuclear <laughs> weapon, of course, in that case, um, uh, much better to follow agency. Agency now has uh, a lot of recommendations and approaches for countries with uh, different uh, uh, nuclear programs.
research reactors or some research reactors, uranium mining or nuclear power plant or many nuclear power plants. So it's, so I, I cannot reply fully for nothing here. Okay. Integrated. Integrated TF framework. Yes, yes, it's, it's the same. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, uh, this uh, idea, this uh, conception works uh, very well for design. Now it's uh, interesting approach: uh, safety by design, security by design, and safeguardability by design. Here, uh, 3S works uh, very well, but uh, for some implementation, we can meet uh, difficulties. Uh, and uh, maybe some states will select a uh, traditional way of splitting of this activity. It is not obviously. So. Okay, again, thank you very much. Thank you very much.